if I can control the weight on my shoulders, then I could take control of everything else in my life. All right, this used to be my pants, guys. A size 26. I was tired. I never had enough time for anything. I got to 415 pounds via pouring into my kids, pouring into the marriage at the time, and I lost track of myself. I was still 320 pounds or so, so I was still pretty heavy. Walking into the gym, was difficult. I do remember the snickering and the remarks of, why is she here? Why? But I, I had that personality where I tuned things out. I'm here for a goal. I'm doing it. It's for me. It doesn't matter what people are saying. Even the ones who snickered at me, they realized, yo, she keeps coming back. She is serious. She's not giving up. So some of them are my friends to date now. When I squat 315 pounds, I was like, dang, this is what I weighed. And I remember crying on my deadlift 315 PR, my squat 315 PR. I remember celebrating and crying on my bench. Cause so for a woman to bench 315 is insane. But I remember just feeling that weight and all that weight just meant something to me. I was able to resonate it with what I weighed. You know what I mean? We are all natural born fighters and I forgot that along the way. And we all have something great. We just gotta pull it out. Take risk and be uncomfortable and do the things that might scare us because you don't know what, what the outcome's gonna be. The outcome could be something great. The outcome could be this little island girl from a small island in St. Croix is now the all-time world record holder of the heaviest deadlift in the world.